New this morning, I want to show you a live look right now outside. This is I-275 heading into Tampa. This is an area where you can expect some serious traffic tie-ups. Well, now FDOT is looking to add extra lanes here, hoping to fix the problem. You can almost set your watch to it. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella is in our live drive this morning, driving Tampa Bay forward. And she went to FDOT to ask what they're doing to make this construction period easier on drivers. Lauren, what'd you find out? Good morning, James and Diaz. So the construction is set to start in about six months and it could last as long as two years. We're here uh, heading north on I-275 into downtown Tampa. The whole point of this project is to eliminate bottlenecks driving north here on the Howard Franklin and take a look at this map of the area that we're talking about. FDOT preparing to add those extra lanes here to the West Shore I-275 interchange. This means more lanes on the actual exit ramp, which should help with the problem of getting off at Kennedy or trying to get on the veterans. They're also adding a third through lane for those heading into downtown Tampa. Drivers are now preparing for possible headaches, though, when it comes to construction. For a little bit, it will. But until the construction is complete, you can't really determine how much better it's going to be. So we asked FDOT what they plan to do to make this construction period of adding those extra lanes easier for drivers. And the state tells us that they will be doing most of the work at night or when it isn't rush hour. They also say that they will keep two lanes of traffic going in each direction to reduce congestion.